Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and you may or may not have heard of Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX is Samsung's desktop-like software experience that activates when you plug some new Samsung phones into a monitor. And it's honestly really, really cool, but I've never actually wanted to use it. Mainly because I've mapped my desk with my monitor, my mouse, my keyboard, I just want to use my computer. But what if we could take Samsung DeX on the go? Well, that's why I made the Samsung Galaxy S10 Portable PC Setup, brought to you by Squarespace. If you need a domain, website, or online store, make your dreams a reality with Squarespace. So this setup of course starts with the Galaxy S10, Samsung's best device they've ever made, easily. It's super powerful, it's an absolutely beautiful looking phone, and it's also highly functional with little to no compromises. So that's the Galaxy S10 of course, but the next big part of this setup is the display. This is the Vinpox Split 15 inch touchscreen monitor. And this thing is really, really cool. It works with your Mac, your PC, game consoles, but it also is perfect for the Samsung DeX experience. It's 15.6 inches, thin and light, 1080p has a bunch of inputs, and it's also a touchscreen. And DeX does work very well with touch. I also have the faux carbon fiber case and stand that makes it into a much more usable kind of workstation setup. But there is one issue with using the Galaxy S10 and this display, and that issue is not being able to actually power up the display with just the Galaxy S10 alone, unlike a laptop or a desktop computer. So you can either plug the display into an AC outlet or do what I did and strap on a battery with some Velcro command strips. The one I'm using is from Anchor, it's 20,000 milliamp hours, and the key to choosing a battery for this setup is it needs to have Quick Charge 3. Without Quick Charge 3, it's not powerful enough to actually run the monitor, so you gotta have Quick Charge 3 on whatever battery you choose. I've also cleaned up and organized all the cables at the back of this setup with a few of these adhesive cable clips and you need these things to have a really clean and tidy setup and they're just super, super useful. Now you can either leave the S10 out and use it as a keyboard and trackpad, but in my opinion, it's just too slippery. You're tapping, you're typing, it just keeps sliding around. So what I did here is actually stick on a case to the battery with some adhesive strips, cut off the bottom of the case so it's easy to place the phone in, and now I just basically dock the S10, plug everything in, and it's all powered up and ready to go. But because the S10 is now hidden, I need a keyboard and mouse. So for my choice here, I actually chose the Logitech K380 keyboard and the Logitech M535 mouse. Both are Bluetooth, zero connectivity issues, and they're also very well designed as well. They're also quite compact too, so you can take them with you no problem, the mouse has good comfort, nice clickiness, and while the keyboard has fairly low key travel, in my opinion it's still completely usable and it's actually a really satisfying keyboard to work with. So with this whole setup and Samsung DeX, what can you actually do with this setup once it's finished? Well, you can do everything you can do on your phone, except a lot better, with more features, a bigger touchscreen, a keyboard, and mouse, and you can actually do a bunch of stuff on it. You can watch videos, use Google Chrome, have a whole bunch of tabs open, multi-windows everywhere. You can play some games that are optimized for keyboard and mouse support, otherwise you can just use this whole thing as a big touchscreen. You can edit photos. It's honestly very usable. You can't go crazy and edit huge videos or do some super intensive pro work on this computer setup, but besides that, you can do almost everything you can think of and do it pretty well. Now, I'll be the first to admit this setup is ridiculous. It's unpolished, it's overkill in some areas, and if I'd use this for a long period of time as my daily sole computer, I would probably have a mental breakdown. But this is a vision of the future. A future where we have one device that's powerful enough to be our main device for everything. Our phone and our PC. We can use it on the go. When we get home, we can plug it in and use it as our computer for all the powerful things we need it for. That future is definitely not here just yet. But it is a lot closer than you may think.
This video was brought to you by Squarespace, the best place to make a beautiful website, online store, or set up a domain. Squarespace has these stunning designer templates with new ones always being launched, and it's super easy to make an amazing website, and I'm currently working on one to use to highlight some of my work, which I'll definitely be sharing in a future video once it's done. And if you need help with anything, Squarespace has award-winning 24-7 customer support. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase. So what do you think of this setup? I know it's absolutely ridiculous in a lot of areas, but could you use this as your daily computer for all of your work? Or what would you upgrade to make it even better and usable as your daily computer? Let me know in the comments down below, and thank you for watching.